So with the recent chapter of Four Nights of the Apocalypse, we got Percival just going basically apeshit in a sense. And I am incredibly concerned over what's going to happen with the future of the story because with what happened, I am legitimately curious and kind of scared at the direction Percival's character is going to go. And based off the comments of the recent review, I think the closest thing we can expect from Percival within these upcoming chapters, at least until he meets somebody that can knock some sense into him or something, is the loss of his humanity. And that is a very interesting topic that I really want to talk about briefly with this video. So with this, I'm going to be starting some new series of just rambling discussion videos after chapter reviews. Once I upload my usual chapter reviews for whatever I'm covering every week, after the chapter at some point. That way you just get some extra thoughts out before the next chapter comes out and either disproves or proves whatever I'm thinking in between. So uh, let me know if you guys enjoy this type of video. I want to do this stuff more. That I want to like upload a bit more before the end of the year. I want to try and grind out some more videos by the end of November going into December. So let me know if you guys like this type of video because I want to try and do this more and gives me an excuse to do some less edited freestyle videos for anything else and it lets me do a bit more and talk to you guys more. Like and subscribe, hit the notification bell if you like this type of content, if you want to see more, or just to see when I upload my next chapter review or any other discussion videos that I'll do in the future. So, what has been thought of during these comments, and I cannot find it for life of me, which is a very interesting thing, is that Percival probably lost his a bit of his humanity as he got brought back from the spirit realm. And so the thing that's interesting about Percival is that he gained his humanity by being raised by Vargas. Percival was basically a blank slate. He had no personality, no persona. He was just like, literally just a living corpse, kind of. And so, being raised with love and compassion, being taught by Vargas, he eventually not only began to gain some sort of sentience for himself and a persona, but he gained a sense of humanity, his emotions, a sense of right and wrong, some limits to what he can do and what he would believe. And that has come through through his entire years of life as Percival for 16 years. And we saw that throughout part one of the series. Even towards the end of part one when he fought Mortledge, Percival still showed a bit of mercy to Mortledge because he wanted to know who he was and why Ironside killed Vargas and why he tried to kill Percival specifically. Now, obviously, he still has faith in people, but he, and he, but he also has a common sense to know that just because he will save an enemy doesn't mean that they will turn over a new leaf. Obviously, in the Demon Realm arc, it happened with Rosebanks to an extent, but Rosebanks still tried to kill everybody else, but... I digress. It's still basically the same to per in regards to Percival. But him losing his humanity is interesting because when he unlocked the power to communicate with his life spirits, his life spirits didn't really have the same moral quandaries as Percival while he was being raised. It's shown throughout all the many Percival's interactions and with Jiggle, Jiggle Civil or, J or Spirit Percival that we saw in part one, basically not really giving too much of an emotional attachment to things. He would have like an upbeat personality and a bit of cockiness, but that's more so, from what I gather, was mimicking a bit of Percival in order to make Percival comfortable as they were brothers in a sense. They were the same thing. They were life spirits. And so he wanted to help Percival gain his full potential and all of that. And even offered Percival to go back to Spirit Realm after learning the deep dark truth of his existence. So, yeah, there's that. So the whole thing is that Percival, after being sent to the Spirit Realm, kind of slowly but surely lost his sense of humanity. More of his compassion, more of his restraint, more of realizing that sometimes you shouldn't go full force on somebody that doesn't really deserve it. And it's shown with his fight against Gareth and Dareth. Percival, after seeing what was going on, realized that the quickest way from the win was basically to kill Gareth in order to undo the magic and secure his win. Now, Percival obviously was strong enough to potentially just deal with this without having to resort to that type of psychological warfare. And based off the dialogue of Ananas Yens and how they reacted, it's possible Percival was going for the kill. We talked about this in the, in the draft review. But if Percival was going for the kill, that is deeply disturbing and terrifying because Percival's always been someone that has compassion for others, he, no matter who they are, even the enemy to a certain degree. And Gareth, he talks to Gareth. He knows Gareth's story. He knows why Gareth has to leave. He even offered Gareth to leave after everything was done. 
But in this match, he came to the conclusion that the fastest way to make it to the end was to kill Gareth. What would happen if Gareth didn't just basically concede, forfeit the match for Gareth? Would Gareth have actually died? I personally like to believe that Percival wouldn't have gone that far. But based off the framing of it, deeply concerning for Percival, and I'm kind of scared to see where does the lead. Obviously, it'll be pretty interesting if this ends up with the finals being Percival versus Tristan, like we all kind of expect, and how I made a video previously on it. But I think the thing, everything's going to be kind of flipped. As things go forward, Percival might show his slight loss in humanity. And if Tristan gets his memories and experiences back in this fight with Percival, it'd be very cool to see Tristan knock some sense back into Percival and try him, trying him to rediscover his humanity. I think if it's Tristan, I think it makes sense, considering that he is Meliodas and Elizabeth's child, and Tristan was definitely one of the more compassionate people in their entire group, outside of Percival. I think if anybody could kind of help give a sense of humanity and compassion for others and reinstate that into Percival, it would be Tristan. But the only other person that could actually do so is Lancelot. I really would love to see Lancelot show back up. Everyone wants to see Lancelot show back up. And I do think either Tristan or Lancelot could potentially like knock some true sense back into Percival for his sense of morality. Or on. On and Ozian's have done good support for Percival over the last arc. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm leading on with this. And I am am kind of curious where this is go could go. Because while I did say in the past, this is a bit, a bit of a tangent, but this does kind of add to Percival's whole thing. Remember when I made that video on Tristan and how it seems Nakaba is exploring a part of Meliodas' story that seems like it was not really explored too much in the sense of the fear of one's darker side and their power? Well, I think he's exploring a similar thing with Percival in this series in terms of the loss of his humanity because Meliodas thought was losing his emotions slowly in the main series every time he would come back from the dead. And while that was cool, we didn't fully grapple with that. When it came to Meliodas fearing him turning back into the ruthless demon and succumbing to his rage and power, he also feared losing his emotions and became emotionless to the demon as he was, both of those together. But we did kind of miss out on the larger struggle of Meliodas going through both of these aspects. And I think Nakaba's going that route, but splitting it into two characters. Tristan with the fear of his demon side and his powers and losing control, and Percival now he got brought back from the dead, similar to Meliodas, but seemingly he's losing more of his, not just, not his emotions, but he's losing his humanity. And that might be a big wound to Percival as a person. It'd be really, really cool if Nakaba really does explore that aspect of Meliodas' character through Percival. Because I'm planning to make a whole video on Meliodas and the entire mispotential of his psychology that could have been explored in Seven Deadly Sins, but... Splitting up these two big aspects and struggles of Meliodas that we kind of never really fully explored in the mainline series of Seven Deadly Sins and putting it into, into Tristan and Percival, it sounds really interesting and we could explore this a bit further. And I would love to see Percival kind of dealing with his for seeming loss of his humanity, realizing that something isn't right the same as it was before and his friends trying to get that piece back to him, but it'll take some time and seeing Percival struggle with that. And maybe just fall back on the, well, death skeleton attack that he did previously. So, yeah, that's something that I'm very curious to see. And I'm kind of worried for Percival in this aspect to see how that's going to warp his character. But either way, I'm very excited to see what's going to happen for Fortnite's The Apocalypse in the future. And, man, i really, really hyped for the next chapter. Because we're going to see more of this tournament. I'm hyped for this tournament. And I'm curious to see how Percival's going to do when he has to fight his own friends eventually because let's face it Percival's making it to the semifinals semifinals he's definitely going to fight other Nazians or on at the very end unless there's an upset where he has to fight the order some way some form but I'm curious to see that aspect as well either way Percival's starting to lose his humanity it's not gone but it's definitely some part of it is missing and has gone away once he came back he still has his sense of morality to an extent but we've seen it it's a lot looser than it was, and I'm curious to see where this could go, like I mentioned. What do you guys think of Percival's loss of humanity, or st beginnings of the loss of his humanity? Leave your thoughts and comments in, in the comment section down below, and let me know what you think of this 
style of video. It's not really fully edited, it's just me talking to the camera. So let me know if you guys enjoy this and want to do more stuff like this. It gives me more of an excuse to make more content and talk to you guys more about just other stuff outside the chapters when they release. So let me know. And once more, Valerie, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates on future videos. Really helps and it shows you guys enjoy the content I make here on the channel and shows you want to see more. With all that said and done, hope you all have an awesome day.